Hello people, real quick I just want to show you how to rig a leg and foot and spine using IK. The way that you do that is come down to the bottom left, click create, you need to create some bones to make a leg here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag two bones for the leg and then two bones for the foot. The next step is we want to get out of create mode and we want to make sure that this heel bone is lined up to this lower leg perfectly. So the way that we do that is we select the lower leg, we come over here to the length value, we highlight that, copy it, select the heel bone again, and let's come over here to this translate area, but we want to make sure that we're in parent space this time. So highlight this x value, I'm going to paste that length value into the x value, and then here I'm going to go ahead and zero the y value for that. Um, then what you want to do is you want to record the coordinates of this heel in world space. So select world space, select translate, and copy that, and you'll see why we're doing that here in a second. So I'm just make sure I'm out of create mode. I need We need to apply an IK constraint to these two bones here, so let's go ahead and select the upper leg and hold control, select the lower leg, and over here under new, we're going to select IK constraint. Then we're going to go ahead and place the IK constraint on the lower leg, I'm just going to call this leg, whoops, leg, my god, 01 constraint. So since it's kind of jumped up in space here, we're going to select this constraint and we're going to put it back where it used to be. Make sure you're in world space, select translate and hit control V to apply the values we copied earlier. So now we have a technically a rigged leg. So I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I'm going to select the IK constraint. We can see it's behaving like a leg. And uh, the problem that we kind of run into here is when we select this upper leg and we want to kind of get like a crouching motion. We see the toe goes through the floor here. Maybe we don't want that. So the way to fix that is you select this heel bone again and you go ahead and uncheck rotation, inherit rotation. And so it's not going to inherit any rotation uh, from the bones, parent bones. So now it just kind of stays where it's supposed to be. And if you select the constraint, you can see you can kind of get some stair-steppy uh, action going on here. And that's pretty much it. The other problem, the problem that you can run into here is if you don't align this heel to the lower leg and you, and you bend it, it will kind of act as a lever and it'll kind of translate this heel around. Uh, so if you're getting, if you're bending the leg here and you're getting motion on this heel, even though you're not inheriting rotation, uh, that means it's not aligned perfectly. So that's one issue you can run into. Otherwise, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys next time. Bye.